Hi, I'm uh, Don Duga, and you're watching My Long Island on Files 1. I'm on the board of directors of the Long Island Science Center, and we thought that it would be very neat to enter into the Riverhead Cardboard Race, boat race. We did so last year, and uh, this Jonah young man and, and Jay and Ian Oxman were the guys that entered, and they ended up taking first place in the kids' division. So this year, they had friends that saw them that said they really wanted to get involved. Uh, now we're doing a bigger and better one. So hopefully it's seaworthy better. and we'll win. We're joining three large boxes together to make a single hull. We're looking at the, the, the very bottom, that's correct, and uh, this is gonna be the, the shell of the, of the uh, racing canoe. We'll probably paint it, and, and that's also for de decorative. Um, but really with the duct tape along the seams, the cardboard should not should not leak. It should certainly hold up, uh, certainly for the race. The rules are, are very simple. Cardboard and duct tape are the only materials that are allowed. You are allowed to paint it um, and decorate it as long as that the decorations don't serve some type of a of a of a function. It's just going to be oars and raw strength. Yeah, this is basically what the boat was going to look like. It's just a rough sketch of the boat and then the two outriggers. And the boat has two pointed ends, so um, both ends we can paddle and steer from. This is the cubic foot of water, and he was kind of drawing it out to see how many cubic feet we'd want and how many cubic inches it'd displace. He just kind of drew a cubic foot of water, then placed them all on the ends of each other and got a length of the boat that would work. Uh, if it's longer, it's much, much faster than if you make it shorter and wider. So it really has to be very long and thin. So you'll sacrifice some turning for that, but it'll really help you win the race. I think it would be very nice if this developed into a program uh, talking about boat building, because the, these boys have learned the very basics of displacement, buoyancy, and the proof is that last year their boat performed seamlessly and it really, it, it was very fast. It, it, it won by a long shot. Uh, because it was designed well. It wasn't just a cardboard box in the water, uh, which might be a lot of fun, but they took it quite seriously. You saw it when it was first starting, just a basic bunch of boxes, and now here it is. It's finished product in its glory. It's, uh, it's huge. Five boys are gonna take this to victory. Material, I don't know, like 100 pounds of cardboard, maybe a little less, and we uh, probably put in about 20 hours, I would say, Real, full 20 hours. And of those hours, a few of them were going back and forth to Home Depot. It should rock if it doesn't sink.